Hi, I'm Amy Collier, and I'm going over one of many scenarios for using Copilot in Azure. This one is going to be storage security. In my case, my company was running out of storage for backups, so I quickly logged into the portal, deployed a storage account to use some blob storage. So now I can use it for my backup and archives. I just accepted the defaults to get it up and running. Now in a few moments, we'll go back to the portal and see what Copilot recommends to see if my storage is secure. After watching this, be sure to subscribe to the series to hear about more scenarios and how they can help you with your everyday tasks. Like I mentioned, I have a storage account in Azure that I need to secure. I deployed a standard general purpose storage account so I could use some blob storage for extra space. My company was running out of storage for our backup data and I just needed something really quick. Let's see if Copilot can help me secure my storage. Or tell it I want to secure my storage. And it's going through the back end and it's going to set context by asking me which storage account am I talking about so it can apply the right recommendations. And now it's going through the back end with the handlers and documentation and my settings to give me suggestions. Disable public network access, storage account is not using private endpoints. So here's some documentation it links you to that you could follow along, but I'm going to use Copilot. Let's go back to the portal and see what Copilot can do for me. Help me disable public network access to my storage account, please. It's going through the handlers, documentation. Let's see what it comes up with. All right, we get two scripts. Got a PowerShell, Azure CLI. And obviously I'll copy this and modify it to my storage account name and my resource group. I'll just pop open the Cloud Shell really quick here and run that script. Let's paste it in. You can see I mistyped it the first time. The second time looks like a success. Let's go to our settings for the storage account. There we go. Let's go to network. And public network access disabled. This was previously enabled from all networks. We could have done this from the portal, but it was great to use those scripts. Now let's see if I ask the same question, what it comes up with. Setting context again, which storage account am I talking about? But now you see it only has the three recommendations. It's not saying disable public network access because it knows I've already disabled it. Well, it's good to know. Private endpoints is the next recommendation. And through the power of editing, I'll just create a private endpoint really quick for you. It's complete. And now we, we've secured our storage in two ways that fast. So it's really great. There's the private link resource link to get to that storage account. And now I can even use the prompted suggestion. How do I use customer managed keys for my storage? And it comes with step-by-step -step instructions for me and documentation. You can search the web, but Copilot is right there in the pane helping you along in the portal. It can provide this comprehensive view of security settings that are normally across different blades in the portal. So it really makes it easier for admins to manage and secure things like their storage accounts. This is just one of many scenarios that you can use Copilot in Azure for. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.